For $139 million, the seller, Las Vegas mogul Steve Wynn, accidentally hit the painting, creating a finger-sized hole in the canvas. Wynn apologized and attributed the fault to I'm sorry to disturb you. I know you're, you're with your grandchildren. I'd like them to meet you. You know, this may be the first time I've ever seen you without a neck tie. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? You don't look well. Last Sunday night, there was an incident on our news. During a live feed from Afghanistan, a Marine, as well as a reporter who was interviewing him, had an RPG explode nearby, and the Marine said, well, he said, mm -hmm. I waited to tell you so I could speak with some lawyers and give you good advice. Yeah, I know about what happened. You know about the FCC? Yeah. Well, I've been playing this out every possible way in my head, and I think this. I have to resign. I know the Macau deal is the one you've been waiting for your whole life, and the FCC can block mergers. On the other hand, I just can't be a party to the line that's going to be crossed if we allow them their way on this. I won't pay a $73 million fine. I won't pay a 73 cent fine. I won't time delay the news, and I won't say I'm sorry. I no longer recognize the authority of the FCC in this matter. I'm gonna to have to be ordered by a federal judge. And when they come to get my transmitter, they better send a group a hell of a lot more scary than the Foundation for Friendly Families or whatever the hell they are. Let those guys embed themselves with the second Marine Division for a while. They'll rejigger their sense of what's obscene in a quick hurry. Jack. This is the one I've been waiting for my whole life. You are the chairman of the national broadcasting system. That's why I wanted my grandchildren to meet you. Yes, sir.